wing is a conversation between His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a newspaper reporter. Recorded March 25, 1976, in New Delhi, India. What would you regard to be the essence of Bhagavad Gita? Bhagavad Gita is name, that God. And we are part and parcel of God. God is there, and we are very thin, small, fragmental portion of God. In quality, we and God are the same. Just like a drop of ocean water is qualitatively the same as the big ocean. Qualitatively, it is the same. A drop of ocean water is salt. And the whole ocean is also salt. The salt taste is there. But the drop is never equal to the ocean. This is the difference. Nitya, Nitya, Nam, Chaitanya, Chaitanya. This is Vedic. He is also living in Chiti, as we are. We, many, plural number. We, means living in Chiti. We are many. And he is one. And, but he is also living in him. Now what is the difference? The difference is that he maintains the Pura Lama living entity. He maintains the Pura Lama. Pura Lama. Pura. <coughs> living entity. And the Pura Lama living entities are maintained by him. <coughs> In the past, uh, no, I should start with uh, this is the first press conference you are holding in Delhi, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I think it is the plural number of entities are being maintained by him. Yes. Why? Just like Aga. And he has got many children. So both of them are living entities. But the father maintains the children, and the children are maintained by God. One is maintaining, and others are being maintained. That means dependent. We are dependent on God, on Krishna. But sir, aren't the impurities pure? No, both of them. But then how do we, then why do we commit sins? God does yeah. That is, we are at the present moment in impure condition. That is material. Therefore, the human form of life is a chance to be free from the Impurity. <coughs> but if we are drop of the same ocean, why should we be impure at all? No, no. We are pure, constitutionally. And from where does this impurity come? Yes. That is just like you are healthy, but where from the disease comes? You are not diseased now, but sometimes disease comes. Where from it comes? So, at the present moment, we are in diseased condition. This has to be cured. Otherwise, we are pure, as pure as God. Then what is the way to purity? Yes, that is Bhagavad Gita. You mean the mere recital of Bhagavad Gita? No, to understand and to act. Prescription. The whole thing is described in the Which particular teachings do you find so uplifting and ennobling for a man? 
Which particular teachings you think can purify a man? Because you said the salvation lies in yes, following the teachings of Gita. You have to revive your consciousness that you are part and parcel of God. <laughs> and the part and parcel of God means uh, to serve God. It's like this finger is part and parcel of my body. But it is meant for serving my body. I ask the finger, come here, he will serve me. Come here, he will serve me. Pick up the pole, give it to me, he will give me. This is business of the finger. If the finger cannot carry out my order, then it is busy. And if it immediately carries out order, then it is busy. Similarly, we being part and parcel of God, we must be ready to give service immediately. Then it is healthy culture. And if you do not, then it is my We are serving. We are serving. Everyone is serving because our constitution is to serve. Big, big leaders, they are also serving. Anyone you can see, the son is serving exactly in the time of desiring by the order of God. Exactly in time of the setting. Everyone is serving. They call Aishwar Krishna Arsha Bhritta. Only master is God. And everyone is Bhritta. Servant. But the disease condition is that when you do not serve God, you serve something else, Maya, and that is disease. That is? Disease condition. Impure condition. At the present moment, we have discovered so many services, national service, communal service, uh, this service, that service, but nobody is recommending service of God. This is disease condition. Therefore, we have suffered. So what do you really mean by arousing the Krishna consciousness? That what means you have to serve Krishna. We are serving now non-Krishna. Nothing is non-Krishna. Something Maya. And it's like dreaming. Dreaming is our activity. That is false activity. Excuse me, may I ask one question? Uh. You said Maya or disease. Maya is disease or Maya or many other ailments by which the Maya human is a disease condition or many other ailments under which the human beings are affected. Yes. Are these bad conditions or ailments not part and parcel of God? Yes. But you are suffering, you should admit, just like yes. prison department, he is part and parcel of the government, but who is in the prison, he suffers. <laughs> That's a very good answer. That's a wonderful answer. Yeah. Your divine uh, would your message be exactly the same for, say, a starving man in India and uh, uh, a Westerner who's got everything that a person needs? Not only in India, everywhere. Everywhere. You'll starve because you are rebellious to God. You must start. That is a punishment. Just like anyone who is a criminal, he must be punished. That is the law of nature. So by that, uh, I suppose one would uh, presume that people in India have been more Why rebellious to God. So <laughs> because of... When you speak of God, don't they? In India, yeah. Yeah. No, because the number of starving men here is much larger. You are standing on account of your economic condition being bad, or the, I cannot say anything. Uh, but they are also standing. 
you are poor by four, and they sometimes accept poverty voluntarily, just like the hippies. Uh, they have enough money, they are coming from very rich father and grandfather, but they lie down on the street. And the police comes and kicks them, hey, get up, get up. Why? Why do you accept it? So this kind of variety you find everywhere. A rich man, middle class man and poverty stricken man. Don't think that it is in, in India. I am traveling all over the world. Swamiji, what do you suggest to your disciples to arouse what you call Hare Krishna consciousness, the God consciousness? Yes, Hare Krishna consciousness is the key physical process. If you chant Hare Krishna, God is so kind. In this age, it is meant for every age, especially this age, when you are so much fallen and so much suffering, and neither we are able to act very piously, therefore, uh, this Hare Krishna mantra, if you chant, you gradually become purified. Then you come to your own consciousness. So how would you define sin? What is impurity, so to say? You cannot understand impurity. I mean, that like, any clear that like when you are diseased, uh, the doctor gives you some vaccine and injection to cure you, to make you purify. No, that's why could there be any clear cut criterion, for example, to say whether I have not come to no, sin? What is that? We living entity being part and parcel, we are as good as God. But when we are uh, under the control of material nature, and uh, that is how did this come? Same example. Just like you as a good citizen, you are as good as Indira Gandhi. You are Indian, you have got all the rights. But if you become criminal, you put into the prison. So we are in the condition statement, no freedom. It is not clear. No, sir, I just wanted you to tell me some yardstick from which one could... But I don't have to do what you want to do. That is the sign of impurity. Because you are suffering. You admit that you are suffering. Do you know this? Suffering means there, there is some impurity. Are you not suffering? Yes, everybody. That is the issue. That's why disease comes in. When you have a fever, you are suffering. That is disease coming. So long you are suffering, you must be aware of the fact that was in disease coming. Because you are part and parcel, there is no question of suffering. So but suffering may the, not necessarily be because of sin, it might be because of something else, you know. It might be something that is your sinful activity. That something is some. Simple actually. Now a poor man suffers of hunger, this is not sin if he yes, doesn't get yes. a proper food or anything. Well, how can we help? We cannot help. Just like a prisoner in the suffering, in the prisoner, we cannot help. I may suffer because I have a cancer, so I can understand. But cancer is not a sin, you know. Yes, it is sin. everything is sin. This is name sin. Unless you commit sinful life, there is no question of suffering. I thought sin has some relation with ethics. Sometimes the suffering is self-brought and sometimes the suffering is brought without self. No, by no, that is wrong. Every suffering is brought by you, yourself. Just like uh, if you are punished by the high court judge to be hanged, you don't make the high court judge is the cause of your anger. You made a situation, the High Court judge has given you the judgment that you must be hanged. Could you tell us something about the, the, the Vedic cities which have been constructed in Mayapuri? And then what is the Vedic city? Did you want to know something about the Vedic city which is being constructed in Mayapuri? Yes. Not Vedic city, Vedic planetarium. How is this information? 
Yes, sir. 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 If you go Sometimes on the street, if you go on the street, and it is there is tip to the left, as soon as you go to the right, you shut. Is it not? Immediately go to the court. Is it not so very? No, no, just try to understand. No, no, I just wanted to no, no, ask no, you. No, 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 why not? It's just try to understand this common sense. That as soon as you go to the street, it, the indication is that you must keep your card on the left side. And as soon as you go to the right side, you become a sinner immediately. You can say, what is wrong? The right side or wrong side, I'm trying my card. That is given. You know or not know. Uh, ignorance of law is no excuse. So just similarly, there is law of God. See, as soon as you violate, you must. You see. What is that uh, law of court? Hmm? What is that? Means you are so ignorant. You are so ignorant. The law of God, law is God, is some personal speaking. This is the law. Karu Dharma and Paritvaj Dhamma may come to This is the law. God is speaking personally. And you do not know. And you are advertising very expert in reading Bhagavad Gita. And you do not know the law. This is going on. Big, big scholars, big, big monkey, uh, they are reading Bhagavad Gita three hundred times daily, but do not know what is going This is going in Bengali, there is a, a saying, big, big monkey, big, big belly, silon jumping melancholy. You know, the monkey, big monkey, Hanumanji, he jumped over. So ask any other monkey, can you jump? Melancholy. <laughs> big, big, similarly, big, big scholars of Bhagavad Gita, and do not know what is the law of God. This is going on. Big, big commentary, big, big book. That is, the law, he does not know. Your Divine Grace, uh, this is actually not very relevant to the press conference, but have you ever met uh, people like the Sai Baba or Bali Yogeshwar or the Maharaj? This is nonsense. What is the business? Who is the last question I made is that? Why is having it? What can I get from them? What is their special value? Huh? Tell me, why should I need? It? What is the business I have got to be thing? You are suggesting? No, I mean do why people... shall I need? Why you expect like that I shall be? No, no, I mean, just casually wanted to know if you if you have ever met them. Why is they are also why is asking renowned What is the business I have got to be thing? What no, I get you just to discuss yeah. that metaphysics. You are taking metaphysics. lessons from Krishna. Why shall I take lessons from such bogus things? No, they have also been recognized as who is the mind? Who is the of Hindu thought and no, who is the mind? That's all who is the mind. But they too have made the quality in the West. That is the defect of the modern civilization. The hope that that in a big Democratic country like America, we voted Nixon to become president, and when they found that this man is a bogus, they again dragged him down. So this is going. We vote somebody to the topmost position, and we see that he is arrested. So therefore, we do not advise. We say just. Take lesson from Krishna. 
who is recognized by everyone. That is our Krishna consciousness. We don't say, go to a bogus man and take him step. We don't say. May I interrupt you? What Swamiji has described in all the books, as it exists, no further contribution, no amendment, no, no interpretation. He has described all what has been written in Bhagavatam or Bhagavad Gita in its truest form. So no imitation, no representation, no interpretation. Swamiji has described exactly as it happened. And that is being appreciated all over the world. All over the world that is being appreciated. Swamiji, could you please throw light on your four-point tabulation which you suggest to your disciples? Yes. That is, pious life, no illicit sex, no meat eating, no intoxication, and no gambling. No? Gambling. These are the four pillars of sinful life. So if you want to know God, we must be free from sinful life. This is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Jesam antapatam papam jananam punna karmana te dannamahan in mukta bhajante maan virabhita. If you want to be God conscious, then you must be free from all sinful activities. God is pure. If you want to approach God, then you must be pure. If you remain impure, you cannot understand God. Uh, Swamiji, uh, do you think that there are some people in this country, in thousands or maybe tens of thousands, who are getting spiritual solace from, say, people like Sai Baba or, or any of these other people who have interpreted the Vedas or you know, who have followers all over the country? Do you think these followers are getting some amount of spiritual solace? No, no. First of all, do you know what Sai Baba is preaching? Do you know? No. Then how are you asking on behalf of Sai Baba? No, just like that. Just like I'm just going, I mean, I'm very far removed from... You know, know why you are interested you twice Christ has said Sai Baba? No, anybody, because he is among the better known people. I I am I no, I am nothing to do with it. Better known? It could be someone like, uh, say, the Bal Yogeshwar who also got some kind of father that, that is, that has spoiled our India's basic culture. Uh, everyone has in, <laughs> invented some ways and they are misled the general people. That is the... Uh, it misfortune of modern India. The standard instruction is there in the Bhagavad Gita. They do not care to know it. They want to know about the greatness of Bhai Yogi, Sai Baba, this Baba. That, that is their misfortune. They give us the real instruction, Bhagavad Gita, it is accepted by the great Ahasya, Ramanujaya, Madhya, Dosankaya, Dosyanta Mahapuru, and all over the world. They are not interested to know Bhagavad Gita. They are interested to know our Sai Baba. They see this form. What would you attribute this to? What is the cause of it? Cause of this one. Simply causing that become is unfortunate. They give up the real thing and they accept the imitation. So that is a misfortune. Uh, if there are two shops, everyone knows here is real gold and here is imitation gold. Maybe you go to purchase imitation gold, that is a misfortune. Uh, what is it in your movement which has appealed to the Western world? I, I believe you have a tidal yes, following. We are, we are supplying real gold. Hmm? We are giving real gold. Mm -hmm. We are not supplying imitation gold. That is the credit. If you supply imitation thing, 
इट मे गो फॉर सम टाइम बट इट विल नॉट एंड यू सो मेनी थानीज एंड जोनीज एंड दे गो देयर बट दिस आस्क इज एम वी कैन बॉय दे डोंट ट्राई टू Yeah, but in Malaysia, we have a considerable following in America and a lot of Western countries. How they are doing? Among housewives. Huh? No. Now it is now it is going down, and the followers they have they will not follow any regular principles. They will not surrender. Simply, they have no actual disciples who are following principles. Now, are we going to compare because of the larger following? No, we compare I, the reality and the unreality. This is where Swamiji is teaching the better of Mahesh Yogi. But I, in America, uh, how many Mahesh Yogi has brought disciples like this? Practical come, come, practical come. Have you seen in India Mahesh Yogi? Well, exactly. Whenever he comes to Delhi, he brings uh, two, three yes, jumbo jets uh, full of uh, disciples. I have them. How many of them are working here? And my idea. Just see their character and give. Some of these may I say something? A magician can create many charismas, but God also creates charismas. Who will you compare the magician charisma, charisma, or the God charisma? This is the difference. A magician can also sometimes impress upon people that he has godly powers, but are these the real godly powers? As against godly, real godly powers. This is the difference. I have been. I say thirty times to America, mm-hmm. talk to lot of people. Yes. They say if you want to go really for attainment of your soul, you go to Iskon. If you want to have, as Joey said, yes. And if you want to attain your bodily strength, yes, actually, one of your bodily strength, one of the secretaries, he asked that I want real knowledge of God. He said then you go to Iskon. And if you want blissful, pleasureful things, yeah. go to either my yogi or go to Balhak yogi. Yeah. This is what is. This is what has been. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is what has been impressed upon by knowledgeable people in America. Mm-hmm. And at least I can say with authority that I have talked with lot of people. Yeah. They say America. that you can chant some mantra and go on with your sinful life. But the practical result is that people's lives remain the same. They may simply yeah. divert themselves from their suffering temporarily, but in reality, their condition of life is the same. They're still in a miserable condition of life. The call that is actually lifting us out of the well of misery to the atmosphere of blissfulness. My dear, I but I do in this paper. T M. You don't require any religion. Don't require to follow any uh, principles. So on, so on. Yeah. But. Uh, I have got so many strictures. Still, they do not go to him. They come to me. He has no strictures. Yes. But I have got so many strictures. Uh, it is the report of the draft department that why the young men come to the council as they come and what is the facility. Mm. So they study. So. The reporter, there is no facility. Simply the reality is still the word. Do you have any plans of propagating your movement in India? Because you have been here for too long, uh, working in the West, and, uh, and uh, I believe India is uh, not uh, getting the benefit of your teaching and your guidance. India is so misguided. That it will take some time yeah. to them because uh, in the water, in, even if you speak to India, what I can speak, I can speak Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> Bhagavad Gita was already there; it's still already there. Yeah. And India's misfortune is they're so neglectful; they don't take care of Bhagavad Gita. They will bring. Why not Sai Baba? Why not this Baba? Why not that Baba? No, I want to ask you. Over in the last century, but over in the that is, they are not over in the. That is the facility for the 
we are preaching Krishna is the supreme God. That is the Shastra and the Vedas are everywhere. But you won't believe it. You say, why Krishna is supreme God? Rather than he is very God, very God. Hundreds and thousands of gods we see. That is it. Lord, do you plan to propagate your message in India? Yes, certainly I plan. But the difficulty is that he is going to accept the philosophy. He is already there. Bhagavad Gita is already. And who is caring to take it? Even if I speak, I shall speak. Read Bhagavad Gita. But who will take it? That is the difficulty. There will be another competition. What probably is asking is, do we have any positive plans? Do we have any in India? Yes, yeah. 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 probably yeah. you are aware that you see Mayapur yeah. is fine. Yeah. That has been, yeah. in Bombay there is a very big temple where we live. There is a center. center My point is, that, uh, what I am speaking, it is not unknown to India. But they are so misfortunate that they don't take it. That is it. So unfortunate they have become that they don't do What shall I speak in India? The same thing. So that is all the more reason why your... Uh, you no, no, no. I am doing as far as we are working. The people are so over-interested, they don't take it. Ah, what are you doing? We have heard. Ah, we have seen Bhagavad Gita. Really. If you become neglectful, that is the greatest offense. So India is offended. It is India's philosophy, what I am preaching as well. India doesn't require to be uh, known, to be aware. It is, they already know it, but they won't take it. They have become so unfortunate. That is it. If you don't take it, then I will become rich. Suppose if I give you that, it's one thousand dollars. But if you don't take it, your benefit will be there. The India's position is there. Would you open a schools in India on Gurukul pattern? On Gurukul pattern? Yes. Right. But the difficulty in India is that they are very, very neglected. Is the government taking the There is no question of government and people. Government is people's man. So if you are, we are ourselves fools and rascals, the government will also be a set of fools and rascals. If you are intelligent, the government is intelligent. Because now it is democracy. You select some man. So don't blame government. You are the If you are fools, the government are fools. If you are intelligent, the government is intelligent. It is up to you to change. Then everything is all right. Some just gives me the special significance of keeping this bead hidden. Yeah, just to follow Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita says, Malmana Bhava Mad Bhakta. Always think of me. So we are thinking Krishna, Krishna, Hari, Krishna, Hari. No, I mean you are keeping it wrapped in a piece of clothes. That, that bead. The bead is pure, so just to keep it and root from the dust. Let's say we keep this drinking water covered. Why? This is common. It's just to keep it pure. Yes. Pure it is. But still, it is our duty not to treat our vanity. Are your disciples supposed to chant the mantra all the time? All my disciples. Are they supposed to chant the mantra throughout the day? All the time. time. Just like I am talking with you, and as soon as talking to them, I have the same. It's only as to talk and also to chant the mantra at the same time. That requires practice. (coughs) That requires practice. Just like the woman is cooking and he is also talking. It does not mean the cooking is going bad. 
it, it is practice. So when you do this uh, chanting of mantra brings purity or following of your four instructions or regulations which you have to or both? Uh, it purifies the heart. Yes. The core of the heart. Chita Dhatmana Mahajanam. This is the effect of chanting because everything we are doing on account of dirty heart. So everything is dirty. So if you purify your heart, then everything becomes clear. How long does it take to purify your heart? Just like if the dirty things are very fixed up, it takes little more time. Otherwise, it takes little time. Sadhguru, I believe you have taken the next for export also in Mayapur. May I know uh, if there would be manned by disciples? And if so, uh, do you think that they would be in a much better position to look after these big goshalas and other things than the other people would be? If you follow Bhagavad Gita, then everything will be followed very nicely. Just like in the Bhagavad Gita, it is say, Kisi Goraksha Manijam. And Goraksha, this is the government that is Bhagavad Gita. So if you follow Bhagavad Gita, then naturally Goraksha will be there. And if you read Bhagavad Gita for some political reason, then the letter of Goa, instead of Goraksha, go killing. This is going on. Every politician is reading Bhagavad Gita. But Go raksha, and it's a go raksha, go hatya. No go raksha, but go hatya. This is it. Who cares for Krishna? This is the misfortune of India. Krishna spoke in India, in Kurukshetra. Krishna appeared in India. That Indian people are neglecting. Therefore, I say it is a misfort. It is your own thing, and you are neglecting. So you want to increase them? Yes, I want that. Bhagavad Gita was spoken in India. Every Indian should take Bhagavad Gita very serious. Then India's fortune will change. But they have rejected Bhagavad Gita and they are making their own imagination as the goal of life. So how will you have it? If you have your father's property, he squander it, and then he beg from others, give me some money. So how much unfortunate you are. This. Your father's property, you squander it. Then he become a beggar, and beg from others, give me some money. So how much unfortunate you are. This, you know, this. When you visited the, uh, the Soviet Union, Swamiji, did you find the atmosphere uh, worse than it is in Western countries, say, or the people and in the The people are very good. But uh, the leaders are bad. Did you meet any of them? No. Yes. I talked with one of the best leaders, Professor Kotowski. He is a professor of neurology. I have talked with him. I have studied. The people in general are very good. <coughs> but uh, did you hold any meetings or anything? Yes. Were they receptive to what you... Yes. I was invited by Professor Kutopsi. Kutopsi. On my way to Europe, I stayed there. So I have studied the people. They are very good. As our Indian people, you know, St. Masters, they are all like that. But they are being sophisticated by the new philosophy community. Artificial thing. 
but they are not happy. They are being forced to accept because of sin from their face, they look alert. Everything dependent on God. You have to accept. You cannot select your food. Whatever nonsense thing the government is supply of it. If you don't like. And for us, it was a great difficult. We could not get rice, could not get flour, neither fruit. Only milk is available and flesh as much as it is. On the whole, it was artificial, and people are not happy. Sanjeev, why did you forbid the tea or coffee also for your dinner? Because it's sinful. It is sinful? Yes. Yeah. Why should we eat meat? What about onions and onions? Yeah. Onions is also very agitated. So why are they sinful? Huh? Why are they sinful? Why, I mean, why is it a sin to take tea or coffee? Because in this intoxication, if you are habituated to take tea, as soon as in your time you don't take tea, you become mad. You mean the dependency is bad or this yes, tea itself is bad? If your you mind is agitated for something, then you become dependent on that thing. That is the position. Those who are taking tea, yes, they have become so much dependent. But if I start taking milk, I will equally, I will be equally dependent no, on milk. No, no. Milk is milk. You take little milk once, so you have it. So what you say that uh, if you start taking milk uh, regularly, you will become dependent, uh, you will become in place. If you are dependent, you must eat something. So but you see. must eat something which is favorable for you. Eatable, everything is eatable. The stool is also eatable. That does not mean you human beings go to eat stool. <laughs> that is meant for the pigs, hogs. You are not hogs and pigs, but if you become, if you try to become pigs and hogs, then you can become. No distribution of food means pigs and hogs. And God will give chance to become a hog next life. So most of your disciples have but their heart admit this, that after this life you have to accept another body. Do you accept this? Huh? I do, sir. Then that body offered to you, is it in your hand? Suppose in next life you are offered a pig's body. Can you say, no, no, I don't want it. That is the statement of Bhagavad Gita. But how to give up, sir? Eh? How to give up? It is given. So how to give up this tea and coffee to which we have so much habituity? That uh, is that given. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the example. How they ask them. If you chant Hare Krishna, then you lose your hankering for everything else. Really? Yes. Yeah. The higher test. That is the test of Hare Krishna moment. Bhakti Parishanu Bhava Virakti Anakta Sya. As soon as you advance in devotion, you become detestful to your material in life. From which class of society people generally come to you in the state? From which class of society in the United States do most of your disciples come to you? You can ask them. I do not know. Oh, sir. Many educated people as well as People from all different classes. And I mean, that he's uneducated. He is all coming from very nice families. The glory, education. Many, many of them come from very wealthy families. Now, if you take good family means very big family, in America there is no poor family. There is no question of poverty. So, how do you distinguish that he is coming from good family, he is coming from bad family? Poverty is unknown to them. Nobody is uneducated. Then how distinguish who is bad and who is good? 
Everyone is good. Unless he voluntarily becomes bad, happy. Otherwise everyone is coming from very good family, rich family, educated family. Do you have a large number of American Negroes in your movement, Swamiji? Not large number, but there are. Is there any reason why that is so? That is very reason. They are not very much culture. They have women followers also in the movement. Yes. America, men and women have got equal rights. So whom do you find more responsive to your women, women or men? You are. They are very fortunate. And I am very much indebted to them because they have helped me. Yes. Help in what thing? Cooperation. Without without their cooperation, that is both. I am writing surely, but they are busy now. They are facing great danger. They are helping me in my translating work, in typing, in composing, in printing. Have you got that feel? How is that going? No, I don't have the projector. I don't have the projector. I don't have the suitcase. If we invite them to see how they are helping efficiently with the latest machine, therefore it has been possible. Otherwise, while in India, with great hardship, I could publish three books on it. They are very beautifully printed. Where does the money come from to print a such lavish edition? <coughs> we are selling books. No, but really. initially you do require a... Huh? Initially you do require some money initially to print such a lavish I took some books from here. They are not so nicely printed. But still, I sold them. Then gradually increased. They paid the money and then... They made contribution. One of my students, he first joined on me. He first, no, first paid me, he, he has, he first paid me first five thousand dollars. Then Ramananda paid me five thousand dollars. In this way, gradually, money came. Samiji, you write, original, you write originally in English or these books have been translated from some other language into English no, translation, but I give my part part. That is, they like very much. Mm -hmm. Present the part part in such a way they can understand. The original verse is there, but they are explained by me. You some critical comments and yeah. explanation. That is nice. How does that mean, Swamiji, that yours is a cultural and educational movement rather than a personal cult? A cultural yes. and educational movement rather than a personal cult? Yes, it is cultural movement, educational. It is not so-called religious movement. Religious movement is sentiment. Generally, religious is taken as a kind of faith, but it is not a fine kind of faith in I think in South America that Indian man was asking if he is the Hindu faith. Oh, in South Africa. Uh, and, uh, he is asking, is this uh, uh, Hindu faith? Uh, so uh, this cult is that cult. He was a Hindu gentleman, belonged to the Arya Samaj. <coughs> so three times he said, is it Hindu faith? And what do you mean by Hindu faith? Yeah. Uh, when Krishna said, Devinasmin Jathadi Kumara Jogunam Jara Tathadi Hantara Prati, is it meant for the Hindu that uh, a child becomes a, uh, a baby becomes a child, a child becomes a boy, a boy uh, becomes a young man, a young man becomes a old man, and the old man dies, changes his body, is it meant for the Hindus? The Mahamedans do not become old men, or young men. The Christians don't become old men. But such fools they are. The Bhagavad Gita <laughs> is speaking. Katha Vihantara Prasi, Viva Sarkha Namunyate, it is meant for the Hindu. <laughs> such fools they are. And Krishna says, Anna Bhavanti Bhutan. 
If you have got enough food grains, then all the living entities are satisfied. This is meant for the Hindu. So this is going on. This is Hindu scripture. What do you mean by Hindu scripture? So they are interpreting in that way. So Krishna is not for the Hindus or the Muslims or Krishna. He is God. He is everyone. He is for everyone. And he it is stated in the way, Sarva Yoni Sukantriya, Sambhavanti Nityayoda. In all species of life, as many forms of life are there, Ahang be the plan, the seed giving father of all of them. So where is the question of Hindu? This is why not. Does it ever happen, Swamiji, that uh, some disciples of yours may disagree with you on spiritual matters? No. Unless he is a fool. <laughs> Unless he is a damn fool. <laughs> if he is sad and sober, open eyes, then he will be. Not only Hindu, you know, we have got so many Mahamedan thoughts. So unless one is open-minded, sane, intelligent, you cannot understand. Therefore I say the Indians have become insane. By the influence of so many rascals, they are becoming insane. And that has to be rectified. But insanity is prevailing all over the world. But not so much insanity as in India, that they are rejecting their own things. This is the greatest insight. Why they are rejecting Bhagavad Gita? What is the reason? Tell me. You. Because I think this is basic economic instability. Huh? Economic instability. Economic. Why don't you accept the economic program given by Bhagavad Gita? Why don't you accept it? It is down to everyone. Krishna says, Allah Bhavanti. Bhutan. Anna. Anna means food grain, eatable. You must produce uh, sufficient food grains. Uh, why you are producing cattle instead of food grains? And just entering your Delhi from Vrindavan, the big Goodyear factory. Very big fact. You are producing that, you, then iron, uh, Godier and this and that. There is food there. And both sides, the field is better. Nobody is going to. No food there. Then why you not start? It is your fault. You are producing that, you, and iron in instrument. You are neglecting agriculture. Then why you shall not suffer for want of food there? And you are pleading, Indians are starving. And why shall not starve if they do not follow Bhagavad Gita? They are thinking by increasing industry. In America, they have got industry at the same time food grains also. But you are taking to industry without taking care of going food grains. That uh, I feel that uh, your society, that Hare Krishna consciousness society, has a very, very uh, stable economy and that it is self sufficient in itself. Is that so? Speak a little Is the Hare Krishna society self sufficient? It has a, does it have a very. Do you understand that our society has a very stable economy? Is it self sufficient, our, our own Hare Krishna society? Uh, don't you think that you are self sufficient? We are feeling at least 10,000 devotees daily, uh, but we have no fixed income. We don't have any fixed income. No. None of us have any fixed income. But we, we are traveling all over the world, uh, New York, London, Calcutta, it is just like going from this quarter to that quarter. Our men are moving like that, immediately coming 
వన్ డజన్ బ్యాగ్ జనరల్ వన్ డజన్ వన్ థౌసండ్ అండ్ ఇమీడియట్లీ గోయి వి పెయింగ్ సో మచ్ మనీ టు ది ఎయిర్ ప్లేన్స్ అండ్ దాంట్ సో మెనీ సెంటర్స్ హౌ ఇట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ కృష్ణాస్ గేస్ డిపెండ్ ఆన్ కృష్ణ అవర్ ఇన్కమ్ డైలీ కలెక్షన్ నాట్ లెస్ దాన్ వన్ ల్యాక్ ఆఫ్ రూపీస్ అండ్ లెస్ ఎండింగ్ ఎవ్రీ దట్ ఈస్ మినిమం సమ్టైమ్స్ వీ కలెక్ట్ ఫైవ్ ల్యాక్ డైలీ వాట్ ఈస్ ది వే యూ గో అబౌట్ కలెక్టింగ్ మనీ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ వాజ్ రేజ్ ఇన్ ది పార్లర్ దేర్ హరి కృష్ణ పీపుల్ దట్ హెబిలెస్ ఇస్ రీచ్ వెర్ ది గెట్ దర్ మనీ అండ్ ది పార్లమెంట్ ఆన్సర్ వాజ్ ది గెట్ దర్ మనీ బై సెలింగ్ లిటరేచర్ దట్ మీన్స్ ది డివోట్ ఈస్ కమింగ్ ది డివోట్ ఈస్ పర్చేస్ ది పబ్లిక్ దోస్ హు ఆర్ intelligent part is they but they yes, say right but uh, do the devotees contribute in any way yeah they are, they are contributing their life we don't get any such life sacrifice in india these educated boys rich man sir they are sacrifice everything for me and where in india swami ji you have such farm also in america yes boys not only one many what else uh, do you have with this besides gurukul schools and things they are including our own name the new brindavan your tradition your novar kind your any of any novar novar kind is there any representative now no your representative went to new brindavan and he published in november 1974 i think yes 74 the public on big article in our time okay. and the heading was adhyatmika ka jamuna aur dud dahi ki navi bhai hai because they are actually they gave the photograph of our deity and actually yeah, you, can, you can find out november is of novar in our 1974 But you virtually given up India as a dead loss from that. You've yeah. given up India as a dead loss. Isn't it in the sense that... Yes, that's right. Uh-huh. And it's leaders that... Misleaders. They have given up their own culture and they are trying to imitate it. It's just that they brought the charges that the Americans are CIA. Was it CIA and that was it? CIA. If CIA had become boss now and given up <laughs> me teaching and dancing with me and they had no other means. <laughs> Our police person. The CIA, CIA men have come to me for inquiry. This person, that's the question set for. Such unfortunate insanity is prevailing in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can see, I, they have come to me. <laughs> 